All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, D.C. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Evan Dunham. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back of your corners, do not fly. somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you. But does the grappler try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Because even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a disadvantage if this fight takes too much time on the ground in the jiu-jitsu realm. Effective strike there by Nervago Medoff. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Double jab there by Dunham. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Fabi. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. 
So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know if somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Just misses there with the left. Tags him with a flush left. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Effective punch there by Evan Dunn. Three minutes to go in the round. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he counters with a left hand. Swing and a big miss by Nurmago Metz. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Unable to connect this. Just over two minutes, round one. Dunham going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that's a nice strike here by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he landed the right hand there. Shot to the body, turned back by Evan Dunn. Beautiful body. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right on the button. Slips that left hand. He blocks the punch. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just a slip there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Thirty seconds to go in the round. He checks that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Round two straight ahead. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. That was a thudding leg kick. What a punch. 
Dunham's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Strong defense here as the hooks to the head is blocked. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Nervago Medov gets caught by the straight punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big body kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Just out of range with that right hook. Outstanding kick there by Evan Dunn. Clipped him with the right hand there. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, stiff jab in the face there. Now doubles up on it. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Come on, push through it. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Ooh, what a punch. Donald's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. That kick blocked by Evan Dunn. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Big right hand. Oh, straight right. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Give me a double leg. Nice double sneaky leg. head kick. Look at it, look at it. Now shoot, shoot. Dunham gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Damaging punch there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Need to get a takedown now. Nice punch, Lance. 20 seconds left. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Ten minutes in the books. So a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Man. Punch after punch landed. 
right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands. Boom. Dunham's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Oh, nice. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Checks the leg kick. The slush right hand is true. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, obviously. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now he lands early and he lands off. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Nice strike. Throwing that jab now again, the fire of eggs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. What a body kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Nermago Meta. Okay. He's looking to land the right just out of range. A kick to the body by Nermago Meta. Just unable to quite find that range. Right under the elbow, the body can land. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Dunham's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Real sneaky body kick. Ooh, big shot, man. And both guys really throwing with authority. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Dunham gets caught with that punch. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nurmago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Good punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Try to establish that jab. Back and forth we go! Oh, that left hand is on point. Yeah, he fixed it all up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nurmago Medal. Well, I know Javier Mendez is safe. Habib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker, and as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, it will continue to show. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace for the Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Dunn. Just misses with the jab. Oh, that right hand is on point. So the defense continues to hold up under this avalanche of strikes to the body. A lot of strikes to the body, but if they don't land, he may get discouraged. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Well, you can't mess around like that with an opponent of this quality. Almost moving into the body shot there, keeping his hands high, elbows high, and that left the midsection wide open. He pays for it again. Right punches there. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, right-left combo by Evan Dunn. Magomedov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful body kick. Just over two minutes to go. Jab yet again out of range. Nermago hey. Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Right hand on point. Some gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Nice 
punch lands over the top. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Tags him with the left hand. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of is better him than me. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think of going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great play. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Losing. You're losing. Listen to me, you're losing. You gotta go out there and get your striking. You gotta put together some combinations for that. Put him against the kick. All right, next round getting underway here, and both That's fighters right, still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio. They both have reputation for fast cardio. You see in the trend that they do at their gyms, that cardio is key, and you watch the way that these two fighters perform. Counter punch landed there behind the Mongo Mel. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of... Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice punch there by Nermago Metal. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic... Wow! Oh, big left hook there! He is getting lit up right now, John. Plans a good combination. Yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about. Keep going in! Going in! Oh, straight right! Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Nice hit. Oh, that's a good strike there by Evan Duncan. Punch to the body is blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Throws the left hand. Real quick leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It with the straight, beautifully placed there by Dunham. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely, the opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Good stick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back to the jab now, no good. That one snuck in. Nice right. Misses again with a right punch. How good is that right hand? 
How about that shin? Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in and around the eye. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. It is mandatory that he covers his face. It is mandatory that the body damage... Oh, he just started looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch there. So many different things right now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, straight right. It's defense. It's defense now. 30 seconds to go in this one. 30 seconds. Glory, baby. 30 seconds. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Whoa! He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. An uppercut in it. Oh. Back and forth we go. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 50 44 for the winner by unanimous decision Khabib the Eagle well he did not get the finish that he certainly